Hey guys, it's John from SetUpWP with another WordPress tutorial for you. In our last video, uh, we set up this new blog website. So we went to setupwp.com, clicked on how to start a blog. We set up a new hosting plan with InMotion Hosting. And we use a special link to save 56% on your hosting plan. That's a special deal for SetUpWP visitors. And I walked you through the installation process. So we ended up with this site, startablogdemo.com. And this is the default WordPress theme. And today I'm going to show you how to change that theme. So I'm going to go to our dashboard and click on appearance and then themes. And you can see there are a couple of different themes installed already. If we want to change the look and feel of the site, I'm just going to activate the 2013 theme. So I'm going to click activate. And if we go back to the live website and refresh it, you'll see that the look and feel of the site's changed. So you can tell WordPress themes are a powerful way to change the look and feel of your site, but I don't really like the way this looks, so we're gonna install a different theme. And I actually recommend using themes from StudioPress. StudioPress is the only theme company that I use on my own websites. It's, I use the StudioPress theme to build the Setup WP site, and we're gonna use a StudioPress theme on the Starter Blog demo site. So if we go and browse on their theme site, you can see all the different designs they have. I actually owned their Developer Pro Pack, uh, which gives you access to all of the themes they have made in the past and in the future. And you can browse around on here and choose a theme that suits your needs. Um, but one thing that's different about StudioPress themes is they use a parent theme and child theme structure. And so the parent theme they use is called the Genesis Framework. And this is kind of like the technology and the code base that sits underneath the design. And then the theme, the child theme, uh, is the theme that sits on top of the Genesis framework. And so all of these themes that you see other than Genesis framework are child themes of Genesis. And the best way to think about it is that the design sits on top of the functionality. And that way, if the functionality changes and WordPress changes, you can update Genesis without losing your customizations that you've made in your child theme. So we're just gonna scroll around here and choose a theme for our starter blog demo site. I kind of like the Agency Pro theme. I'm going to click on the demo for it. You can see it's 100 bucks, and I'm going to go down to the full theme demo here. You can see there are multiple color styles, layout options, custom menus, featured images, a custom background, and it's fully mobile responsive. And I want to talk about this for just a second because StudioPress themes look great on all devices. But you might have noticed if you have an iPhone or an iPad, when you look at some websites, uh, they don't look very good on your iPhone or your iPad, but if you build your site on a StudioPress theme, it's going to look great on all devices. So I'm going to click on the full theme demo, and we see this home page template where we've got a background image, a logo, top navigation up here, and there's there's kind of a custom home page. This is one of the templates that they have. If we go under uh, templates and click on blog page, if you want to use this theme for a blog. You'll see it, it's going to look like this. So instead of the custom home page elements, you see you've got a traditional blog layout, but it's floating over that background image. And I like the way that looks, so that's what we're going to use on our demo site. Another nice thing about this theme is it has color options. So you can see all the links are kind of yellow right now. And if we want to make them blue, you just one click and they're now blue. And I kind of like the way the red one looks. So I'm going to, I actually already own this theme, but if you don't own it, you can purchase it here and you, you get the Genesis framework and the child theme, and then you can download the zip files to your computer. And then you go back into your WordPress admin area under appearance themes, and we're going to click on add new and we're going to click on upload theme. Now you're going to click choose file and just browse to the location on your computer where you've saved the theme files. And, and because we're using StudioPress, we have to upload Genesis first and then the child theme. So I'm going to choose file, browse to Genesis. Like I mentioned, I own all of their themes, so just scroll through a lot of options. And then click on install now. You can activate this at this point, or you don't have to. You can just return to the themes page, but I'll activate it just to show you what the Genesis theme looks like out of the box. So I'll refresh. Yeah, you can see, not too exciting, really clean, lots of white space. 
we're going to install the child theme and it's going to look a lot better. So now I'll just go back to the themes under appearance and then we're going to click on add new. Click on upload theme. Browse to where the child theme is located. I'm going to click on agency pro and install now. Then we're going to activate it now that it's installed successfully. So if we go to the website and we refresh, we see it looks like this and there's no background image installed by default. So I'm going to go and install and set up a background image. So I'm going to go to the manage themes area again and click on customize and click on customize here or over in the sidebar. And this is a nice way to manage your themes design. Studio Press works with WordPress's built-in customizer. So I'm gonna just click on background image and I'm gonna upload a cool looking background image that I have. You can kind of see, this is a picture of me after climbing a mountain in Ecuador. I'm just gonna click save and publish. I'm going to go back to the live website and refresh it. You see we've got a cool background image and if we click on the blog post you can see a little bit more of it. So that's how you set up a pretty good looking blog in just a few minutes by installing a theme from Studio Press. I'm going to show you how to customize the design a bit more, how to add sidebar widgets in a navigation menu and also install plugins and do some other great things. But you're going to have to look in the next video for that. So if you go to setupwp.com and click on the next video in the How to Start a Blog series, I'll show you how to do all that stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching.